So it's come to my attention in recent days that there's somebody on the Appalachian independent professional wrestling scene that has taken my gimmick, my idea, and tried to make a name for themselves and has gotten a lot of mainstream media attention. Which figures, of course. And I'm, of course, referring to the progressive liberal, Daniel Richards. How can you call yourself a progressive liberal when you're cheerleading with your 101 faces of Hillary shirt and your donkey trunks for somebody that's a free trade loving, Walmart defending, warmongering, scandal ridden, emotionally void, out of touch, big bank finance, corporate owned establishment Democrat like Hillary Rodham Clinton. It was people like me, the socialist shrug daddy in 2016 that was hitting the beat, hitting the campaign trail, going door to door, trying to help everybody feel the burn all the while. It was the people like you, the wolves in sheep's clothing that sat there and called themselves progressive liberals, although you were anything other than progressive and liberal, rigging the system against the people, rigging the system against the people's candidate that helped created candidate Hillary Rodham Clinton. And you want to sit there and talk to all these people about how Donald Trump isn't your president. Well, I got a news flash for you. It's the people like you that helped rig the system for Hillary Rodham Clinton that helped give us the village idiot in chief at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in the White House. So he is your president. Stop blaming everybody else like your hero Hillary Clinton and start taking some blame and responsibility for how bad your whole campaign sucked in 2016. And stop trying to appease and appeal to these Eastern Kentucky Appalachian rednecks. These people are the epitome of the word deplorable. And at the end of the day, while they stubbornly cling to their God and their guns, they don't matter and nobody cares about them. Part of the reason is because they're too busy giving love to their cousins to sit there and educate themselves to where it's reflecting in the fact that they consistently vote against their own self-interest, including supporting an out-of-touch racist whose whole mission apparently is to lie and not address the fact that he constantly lies, but blame the media for reporting the lies in Donald J. Trump. Because these people are ultimately destined to face the same fate as the coal industry they so stubbornly cling on to and so desperately love, and that is, of course, a black lung death. What we need, though, what we need is me, the socialist schleg daddy. I'm the one working for real change in professional wrestling, change that everybody can believe in. What we need to do is we need to go after the wealthiest in professional wrestling. That is, of course, Vincent Kennedy McMahon in WWE. And once and for all, stop allowing them to use loopholes and rules to get away with not paying their fair share. I'm calling for a competition tax against the WWE of 15%. And we take that 15%. And we use that money to fund our NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, and make it once again the powerful regulatory and rules commission for independent professional wrestling all throughout this great country and eventually the entire world. That's what we do. And we allow the NWA to become the strong, powerful force to oppose the rigged system that has been created by the WWE to bring about real positive change, such as mandatory unions for all wrestlers. Enough of this right to work crap. We need to provide single payer health care. If WWE is not going to give them insurance, it's time that somebody else does. And a real livable working wage for all independent professional wrestlers. $40,000 per year. While you can't afford a mansion on that, you can at least pay your rent and your utility bills. These people put their careers on hold in the real world. They put their lives on the line, their bodies on the line. The least we could do is make sure that they can afford to pay all their bills. And if they do get hurt trying to entertain the people, let's make sure we take care of them. Health care for every wrestler. And we ultimately know, and the people know deep down in their hearts, the cackles of their heart, Daniel Richards. They know that the socialist like Daddy is the one true champion of progressive liberalism in professional wrestling. But we're going to have to settle the score here. Because for no longer can you get all the attention that should be heaped to me. No longer should you be given all the credit that belongs to me. Fear my snowflake smash. Beware my mad owl claw.
You about to catch this libtard leg drop. Watch out for the Warren driver, and most certainly you're going to feel the Bernie Buster. And once I rock in that 25th Amendment hold, believe me, it's all over. Good night, sleep tight. You're going to be impeached once and for all from the Appalachian Independent Professional Wrestling scene. It's going to happen. But we got to settle this like men. And that is, of course, if you can put down your latte for long enough to come face me. You live in Richmond, Virginia. And the socialist leg daddy lives in Richmond, Virginia. So I got a crazy idea. How about this? Progressive liberal Daniel Richards, Monday, September 4th, 2017. How appropriate Labor Day at high noon on Monument Avenue at the Arthur Ashe statue. You and I have ourselves what we call a little bit of a resistance street fight. It's socialist rules, which means equal for all. If I do it, you can do it. If you do it, I can do it. If I can't do it, you can't do it. If you can't do it, I can't do it. That's the way we're going to figure out one true winner. And how do we determine ultimately who the winner is? The first person to fight Scratch and Claude against this rig system and work their way down Monument Avenue to the Jefferson Davis Memorial and tweet, I am the one true progressive liberal down with the Confederate flag, hashtag resist, hashtag not my president, will be the winner. We can sell tickets to this thing. They'll line up Monument Avenue, all 25, 50 people. We can donate the proceeds to freaking Planned Parenthood. So that way we can help fund women's reproductive care up to and including abortions. But for no longer can the socialist like that he stand by and allow somebody else to get the attention that I so rightly deserve. No longer will the socialist like that he allow this grave injustice to be added to the pile of all the other injustice that we see throughout the independent professional wrestling scene. There is no question I am the one true progressive liberal. There is no question that the socialist schleg daddy is the champion for the wrestling business and the wrestling fans. The only question remaining, Daniel Richards, is Monday, September 4th at high noon, Monument Avenue, Richmond, Virginia, at the Arthur Ashe statue. Are you man enough to show up? Are you? Are you? And I'll tell you what, afterwards, we can go to Starbucks and we can have a pumpkin spice latte. Or we can hop on some Wi-Fi and we can watch some Barack Obama speeches. It'll be good times, good clean fun had by all. But for no longer can you live off of my name, my idea, my gimmick. Not to mention the fact that I'm clearly much better at it than you.